Welcome friends. This is the second video in our improving over the winter series. Last video we talked about shoulders, controlling your swing. This video we're going to talk about the back swing. Now, like I said in the first video, what's true? You go to the range in the summer, you hit balls, you're so concentrated on that ball sitting there, you don't even think about your swing. Your swing can be terrible, but you'll never know it. What this does is allows you to develop that swing over the winter without a ball sitting there to confuse you, and you can work on individual parts of your swing so it gets fully ingrained in muscle memory to next spring. Now next spring, after you develop this swing, what's true? You can go out, hit golf balls. No, don't have to think about your swing then because it's already ingrained, it's developed. But it's very important to develop that swing. Like I say, five, 10 minutes a day in your garage, in your basement, it's perfect. It's perfect to do this. And just work on the steps in slow motion, slow motion. But anyway, let's talk about the back swing. First of all, I've got a baseball bat. You can use golf club. That's fine. I like to use baseball back to me. It's just a little handier. But anyway, you set up like you're going to hit a shot. Then you're going to bring the club back. But before you do that, this is what I suggest you do. Get up here, then do that forward shaft lean. Why? Because it's a trigger. You start there, then you go back. It's always easier to start a movement if you've got the opposite move. So come up here, instead of just standing here and on, uh, no, go like this, then bring the club back. Now, I'll give you a little tip. Don't bring it back with your arms. Turn your shoulders and you're basically swinging the club up. That's one of the reasons for that little forward press at the beginning. You stand here, get that forward press, and then you just swing the club up. You're turning your shoulders. My arms aren't moving. They're as loose as a goose. Bring it up all the way around your body. Give you a side view here. Bring it up around your body like this so that then you're ready to rotate out. Okay. Notice also I'm bringing that club up right at about shoulder level. I'm not bringing it way out here. I'm not bringing it in flat like this. It's coming up right about shoulder level. Why? Again, your shoulders will create your swing. So you definitely want to have that club on the same functioning plane as your shoulders. This is what you do. You bring it up. Now, as you're bringing it up, what's true? Your weight is shifting to the right side. Now, you're not swinging to the right. You're putting your weight on the inside of your left foot right on top you're posting up basically on your right leg storing all that power you come through here that's what you want to be looking at make sure you've got a nice wrist cock so on and so forth there's one other thing it's a little nuance that you might want to work on and that's this you see how right here my wrist is flat okay when you come up to the top bend that wrist go like this Get that little flexion in there like that. What that does, it causes your right hand to bow out like this. See what I'm getting at? And you leave it like that in your downswing until you make impact. We'll talk about that later when I come out with a full video on all of this. But for right now, just concentrate, swing the club back and make sure it goes around you. Your hips aren't moving right or left. Pretend you have a pole stuck in the back of your head. It goes straight down your spine and goes into the ground. You're basically twisting around that post. There's no swaying movement whatsoever. Anyway, that'll do it for this one. Bear in mind, we've got a bunch of other short videos coming out for different parts of the swing. And then at the end, I'm gonna put a full one together. It might be lengthy, but what the heck, it's worth watching. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks again.